Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. I just realized I probably didn't tweet about this, so you're going to lose your fun music for a second while I do that real quick. Yep. Organized streamer. You know, I was organized. The tweet was ready to go. It's just forgetful. The tweet was ready. Oh, Jesus. I just hurt myself. Ah! <laughs> Whew. All right. Back to the video game. Actually, not back to the video game. You need OBS to show you the video game first. Let's, uh, let's, let's, what's, what's, where's the button I have to press for that? It's that one. There we go. That is loud as heck. There we go. How's, uh, how's, how's that going to do it? So it's still pretty loud. All right, I'm going to put that there for now. Um, if that is still too loud, or rather if that is not loud enough once the game starts, let me know. Um, this is one of those games where I can't really have it in the background just because of the way that it works. So, yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Why is game in 16 by 10? Because my monitor is in 16 by 10. The thinking man's aspect ratio. Gopher is angry. Hello, everyone. Who have we got? Hello, Unzeroic. Hello, Shoe Plastic. Hello, Gopher. Hello, Aria. Or rather, hell, Aria. Only pre stream chat will understand. I know I saw Skelly. Hello, Skelly. Skelly says, fuck Twitter. That's a good way to, treat, uh, to, to greet anyone. It's a, it's a good greeting. I, I support it. And hello, Cheese. And hello, anyone else. Welcome to stream. It was Earth Day yesterday, although if you're in certain time zones, it's technically still Earth Day. We're going to play some Returning the Earth to Beauty themed video games, which I've already streamed a little of before. So we're going to do some Hey Park Boy first. And then some Terra Nil. I'm going to go for about two hours. And that's everything. Wasn't the game in 16 by 9 the last time? I don't think so. I don't think so. If it was, it was cropped wrongly because I didn't... Um, I never worked out how to... I never worked out how to get this one into 16 by 9. Oh, Jesus, that still sounds very loud. Hang on, um, chat, I have to... I have to heck you off for a second so I can see the, the audio. It's it's pretty loud. Could it go with could it do with going down a little more? Probably when it's shouting like that, yes. Alright. Oh Jesus. That one. That one so I can see the chat. Hello the chat. Skelly says it was in 6x9 last time. Nice. It's not super loud. Okay, it is like drilling into my ears. So we'll, we'll, just, we'll just deal with that. Right. Next upgrade. 350 flowers in park. Tell me if this looks good or if there's anything else going on with it. We are small you boy. Alright, I don't remember any of the controls. So we're just going to have to deal with that situation. I can't run. That's okay. Oh, that's right. I need to suck. I just got suck powers to clean up. Uh, how do I... Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, is there a flower up there? I have to deal with that in a second. Don't slip on the banana peels. I think we're too small. I think we're too small to slip on banana peels. Skelly, you wish real life had a suck button? I think that's called a vacuum cleaner. Let's do some watering as well. So I'm very excited, chat, because I think we've got like, what, a week? Until new Pokemon Snap comes out. I'm excited. <laughs> a 
Gopher says 16 by 10 might be the thinking man's aspect ratio, but 16 by 9 is the aspect ratio that let Rome conquer the Mediterranean. I think I need a little bit of context for that. Did they all went in the wrong direction? Maybe I need to um, face this way instead. She says vacuum cleaners don't exist in real life, which is, again, not, not entirely sure I'm, I'm uh, picking up what you're putting down there. Gopher says Julius sees a white boy. I see. I, I don't know if I should keep asking for context or if it's just going to keep making it worse. Dancing. Don't uh, don't worry, chat. I haven't forgotten about the um, the little frog that has a little shop outside the the boundaries of this um, this park. why it's called 16 by 10 instead of 8 by 5? You know, that's a good question. I assume there's like a a reason for it, like the fact that it needs to be able to make it comparable with with 16 by 9, but I don't actually know. Let's see if we can make this area groove out. Gopher thinks it's for, it is for the comparison and it's easier to remember, maybe. Skelly says fuck people, which, you know, why not? And also that 69 is easier to remember because... 16 by 9 is easier to remember because 69 is in it. <laughs> I don't think I'll be uh, doing anything more before the end of the day here. Whee. Oh, darkness. Darkness approaches. Yeah, four in a row. Hey, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, we're almost up to our next upgrade here. Hello, Valestian. Hope you're doing well. You're sick. Oh no. Unless you mean that in like the 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 ironic '90s way, like sick, bro. No, you mean it in the literal way. I see. Sorry to hear that. Okay. Oh, I see. I yes, it needs the totally to be the ironic way. Gotcha. I need a bigger like water gun. I want to speed this up, you know? Skull, you didn't like widescreens at first because they were less square. I feel like I used to feel that way too. Oh, we can't do that one yet, okay. Hey! Nice. Cool. Let's work on this one since it's closer to the tap. Ha! 
For those who don't know, I do actually use a 4x3 monitor. It's from like 2003. Which makes it uh, a legal adult in Australia, I believe, as of this year. We should, uh, we should have a birthday party for it. Is it a CRT? No, it's not. Um, I, I don't think my parents even have any of our old CRTs anymore. Grove says it's a CRT from 1981. It is not. I don't think. I don't think at any point did our family possess a CRT from 1981. I think about the earliest we would have had a CRT from was about 1988. Jeez, you are. Uh, you had to throw out all your old CRTs. Well, I mean, I understand the. I understand the desire to not have because I mean they're they're massive objects, right? Oops, didn't finish this one. But um, oh god, there's a lot of pushback from that. You know, you, what, what's the if you're if you're doing any kind of cleaning out or, or minimalism or or anything like that. The, the key is to keep what makes you happy, right? So if they make you happy... Alright. I wonder if we've got to our number of flowers yet. Skelly, you want to get a CRT for your Sega Saturn, but don't know what pixel geometry to get? I have no idea what that means. What that is. Oh, we're four flowers off. Four flowers off. All right. Is, can I finish, please? All right. Park O'Vision. What's this? Hey, you boy. You are doing a great job. Anyway, what did you want? Uh, upgrades. None. All right. Tools? None of those either. All right. Well, I don't need the Park O'Vision. Why is it flashing? Gully has sent us a Wikipedia image. I will check that image the next time I have the opportunity. Oh, dude. I should have gone to the frog. In fact, I can still go to the frog. Why am I complaining about this? Let's get some flowers, though. Yes. Give one of every colour, please. Why are we taking the whole plant though? Why can't we just take the flower? It's very inefficient. Where's another yellow one? All right, let's go. Let's go talk to Frog. Frog friend. As you can see, I haven't quite managed to fix this graffiti yet. I wonder if I can do any better. No, it's it's red. That means it's not fully coming off yet. People. Rake. Can I climb this? What's going on here? Hello. Green flowers worth two. Whoa, whoa, who's this dude? Papa Seed? I don't know if I like that. Oh man, I love what you've done with the park so far. I'm rooting for you, oh my god. Sell all. Oh, I just get lots of money. Okay, cool. Oh no, now I need more flowers if I want to, um, if I want to trade with frog. That's right. Can I just like fall down with no consequences? Yes. Nice. 
But I have lots of money now, so I guess that won't be a problem for a while. Hi, frog. Hey, hey, you dude. I got some really nice stuff for you today. But keep it on the down low. Mel and the frog, amazing. Oh, I see. We actually need lots of money for his items. Cool, all right. Well. So this is the this is the economy. You get flowers, you sell them to Flower Bro up here, and then you use that money to pay Frog Bro for his shit. I am ready to make money. I feel like they told us about like a teleporting mechanic or something like that at the end of the last um last time I played this, but uh, that knowledge is gone from my brain now, if it ever existed in the first place. Let's just groove out with some flowers, yeah? Good stuff. Yep, we're just, we're just vibing. I'm vibing along at home. Feel free to vibe yourselves, chat. That's the kind of vibing I like to see, Goho. Some good chicken dancing up in this chat. Valestian, you're looking at guitars again? I would I would say I don't believe in a dumb guitar. I'm not sure. Is that a thing? I thought all guitars were pretty cool, actually. Skelly, you've already seen this guitar and you agree it's a dumb guitar. I see. I'm kind of keen to to see this guitar now. Gopher says, as to my assertion that guitars aren't dumb, when was the last time you saw a guitar winning a game show? Well, I don't watch TV, so I feel like it's an unfair question to the guitars. back towards my ship and then I'll get kicked out of game momentarily. It has a built-in... If you flip it with the curved part facing up, it looks like an elephant. It has a built-in speaker that looks like an ashtray. I need to see this guitar. Go for you have news, please share. Okay. Dude, this has flower gain, but I saw follow again. Alright, let's um sorry, you're gonna lose sound here while I look at this um this guitar and wait for Gopher's news. Second image. I mean it's unusual. Gopher says, I got written confirmation that my scholarship will cover a cost of my studies that I was stressing out about because it's big money. Yay! I'm so glad. That is excellent news, Gopher. Very happy for you. That is, yes, money, big money equals big stress. Very glad to hear you have written confirmation on that. Because, I mean, it's one thing if they're like, yeah, sure, but until it's written down, it's a bit like, Ehh. so, no, that is... That is very good news. Excellent. You could consider celebrating with a five hundred dollar guitar that looks like an elephant, if uh, if that's if that's your jam, because uh, one has been linked in the chat. Very good. 
Bless you, you think there's an almost pun because it's a Z-O. It's like zoo or something like that. It's interesting. Why put in a speaker, says Scully. Well, isn't that like the the point of the hole in the guitar in the first place? Increase water refill rate, water gun ammo increase. I want everything that was just mentioned. Uh, I think I want the ammo increase first and then I'll go and get some flowers. Oh shit, that's not the button I wanted to press. Any more tools? Nope. Oh. oh my god, my hands are misaligned on the, <laughs> the keys here. Oh, I see. Because Zor in, in Japanese is elephant. I gotcha. Gopher says the point of the hole in a guitar is to store stuff. <laughs> okay, blue flowers worth more today. Bless you, and I feel like you've just been, you've just convinced yourself to buy the guitar. Girl, you need to vacuum your guitar hole. Oh, there's some more trash. You can suck trash to get money. Okay, do, do I seriously get money for Apple Core? No, okay, good. Oh, wait, maybe I do. It just, it, it kicks in when I first interact. Yep. Dude, can I play, can someone point me to where I can get $10 for my banana peel? Because I ate one this morning. I would be very happy to convert that into money. All right, let's, let's sell. This little rake. What flowers do you have for me today? I have blue. Did that? I I wasn't paying attention to how much money that made me. I think it was like five dollars a flower, maybe. <laughs> Ari you thought I was saying I ate the peel and wanted money for that. <laughs> yes. Let me tell you, if I ate a banana peel, I would want money for that. Okay, can I go buy these in the middle of the day? I can, excellent. What a refill rate. Let's do this. <laughs> Gopher, you discovered the resonant frequency of your bathroom and it's E2. Um, I have a lot of questions. First, let's start with what does that mean? What does that mean that your bathroom has a resonant frequency? How do you know it's E2? And and how did you find that while peeing? I, I suppose those are the those are the main questions. Go for you, make sound and sound grow loud and vibrate. Oh, right, right. That's what resonant frequency means, right? <laughs> Valestian says resonant frequency. Resonant? Res <laughs> oh my god. Yes, resonant frequency. It's the next. It's the next. It's the next game in the Resident Evil series. Resonant people. Yes. Resonant frequency, resonant frequency, or as Zeroic says, resident, well, frequency, but also sleep frequency, right? A hey, nice, just before time ran out. Cool. 
I'm just gonna stand here until uh, until I'm kicked out, I guess. Haha! -ha. Two lost flowers. Okay, just a sec. I'm gonna check out what Ari's got for us here. Oh, I like this. I like this. This is what would you call this? The the alignment chart of <laughs> the alignment chart of poor text formatting. This is a very good image. This is I enjoy this very much. Oh, I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna try and explain this one to you, chat. But I am gonna save it for later so I can look at it at my leisure when I am not streaming. That is good stuff. E2 because you check with phone go if I see. Hey! This banana peel wasn't here yesterday. Whomst the fuck? So I suppose the the remaining question, Grofa, is if you peed hard enough, would you be able to vibrate your bathroom out of existence? Okay, let's, let's groove out a little. Let's vibe. Gopher says, what do you mean if I peed hard enough? I was making E2 with my mouth, not with my pee. Well, you said while peeing and I might have made some assumptions. <laughs> now there's some like complicated music science shit happening in the chat. Skelly says, E2 with what reference for A4, 440 or 432? Gopher, I assume this is uh, Hertz. H Hertz. Gopher says 440, like a proper gentleman. I, I feel like I've, I'm missing some important context. Skelly wants me to pick between 440 and 432. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to compare those two options. Go for contrary to popular belief. You cannot tune the sound of your pee. I believe in you. I believe in you, Gopher. I believe if you try hard enough and you want it enough, you can do anything, even tune your pee. You can do it. We, we support you. The whole chat is behind you. Gopher says 440 is for people who like standards in the metric system. 432 is for people who like old unstandardized nonsense or people who believe in pseudoscience. I see. So it's an American versus everywhere else thing then. This, this game is very chill, chat. dance. Skelly says I could get you a video if you want. It's just a dumb petty squabble. I'm not going to lie. I have severe doubts that I would be able to tell the difference. Grove says since music is relative, it doesn't even matter that much. It makes sense. Water up. 
You'll be able to tell the difference side by side, but if you this is the two different songs in the two standards, you probably won't be able to tell. Interesting. Hello, Hexavexcon. Yes, happy birthday to the ground. On this day, this exact day, four billion years ago, the Earth was born. Because that's a, a process that only took one day to happen. In fact, given given that an Earth day is defined by the amount of time... Oh, dude, 399, are you kidding me? Given an Earth day is defined by the amount of time it takes the Earth to rotate around the sun, when the Earth was born, a day wasn't even as long as it is now, presumably. Oh, we're full, of course, because we just started today. Good. Gopher says, did you just say a day is when the Earth goes around the sun? What I'm certainly meant to... You know, it's entirely possible that's what I said. What I meant to say is the amount of time it takes the Earth to spin around on its axis. Yeah, a year is the amount of time it takes the Earth to go around the sun. Grove says if you don't have perfect pitch, you aren't going to be able to tell the difference. Mm -hmm. Unstrong says, aren't years very slowly starting to take longer? I don't know. Are they? I mean, the Earth is slowing down over time, right? The spin of the Earth, but not really in a way that's overly perceptible to humans. This, uh, this water tank upgrade, good. I enjoy. She says the moon is moving away. Did the why? Did it, did it get a job somewhere else? Ha 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 She says it's odd to think that we exist during the sliver of history where solar eclipses occur. Yeah. Pretty, um, pretty coincidental that solar eclipses were the thing that happened, well, like, are a thing that happened in the, the age of the Earth where there's creatures that are, like, prone to assume weird shit is going on if something happens to the sun. Gopher says the Earth's orbit changing mostly depends on interactions with other planets, but the other planets are so far Earth doesn't really care about them. Okay. So, uh, what you're saying essentially that there isn't a whole lot going on with any changes in the Earth's orbit, but the, the length of day, in other words, our axial spin is changing. We're just in the period where the moon is al almost exactly the apparent size of the sun. Now, when you say just in the period, how many, are we talking millions of years or billions of years? Solar eclipses have existed for a long time. It's just that the specific period is short. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, 
text of Exegon says, Earth is emotionally guarded. Not gonna lie, if I had, uh, like, weird creatures living all over me, like the Earth did, I would also feel pretty emotionally guarded. It's alright. Oh no! We didn't get to vibe out with the flowers before the end. Skelly says you do. Yes, I am aware. Let me sip this tea. Unzorok says if the moon moves too far away, will there no longer be any will there no longer be tides? And go for answers. The moon will move out to a distance until only one side of the earth ever sees the moon, but we'll get some tides from the sun. Okay. Like we're talking like catastrophically environment as we know it changingly difference in tides, or will it happen over such a long time that life will probably adapt? Hello Asparagon, how are you? What do we got? Unlocked water gun ammo increase. Good stuff. Increase inventory space. Why do I need that? Still no more tools. All right. Oh, it's flower inventory. Okay, now I need 150 to get um, more ammo increase. Gov says, I have no idea. I'm not a biologist. <laughs> You can maybe answer the time scale question though. Do you know how long it would take? Extremely long. Okay. Unzorok says, what if the reason the moon is moving away is because it's charging up to ram into us? These are the questions we have to ask ourselves. Gopher says it's certainly a possibility. 50-50 chance between between it being the moon wanting to ram into us and it not being the the moon wanting to ram into us. Scientists are unsure. Well, I guess all we can do is is pray to the moon then. Hey, nice. Oh, we straight into this area without me noticing. It's moving by a few centimeters per year. It's measurable, but basically nothing. How do we measure something like that? Wait, I think you told me about this before, possibly. Lasers? Lasers. It's lasers, right? We have mirrors on the moon, and we use lasers, right? Mirrors and lasers. Use laser and see time, yes. Lesion says, what if the... Earth sees the moon's attack coming and prepares to judge. Judge? Judge? <laughs> Holy shit. Linguistics major streamer. Words are hard, Aria, I agree. So, it's uh, it's getting pretty cold where I am in Canberra. Cold for Australia, mind you. So, you know, if you live in the northeastern United States, it's uh, pretty warm at the moment. Um, where, where, where's the tap? I got disoriented while I was shit talking my own climate. Um, oh, I might as well not bother now. Let's just hang out in these flowers. Very good. So today I made a delicious soup, chat. I made 
cauliflower, cauliflower and potato soup. It's very good. It has bacon and cheese in it as well. Scully says, why specifically the Northeast? I thought like the Northeast got like massive snowstorms and shit. Oh, already full. Of course I am. Asparagus, you're wearing thermo pants, thick pullovers, and you're you've got the heating on as well. Amazing. Uh, Asparagus, aren't you from a place that's colder than? <laughs> are you from a place that's colder than where you live at the moment? Question: You have sausage potato with gravy. Yum. Yeah, what kind of sausage? Beef sausage. Very good. Hey, nice. Oh, asparagus. Yes, of course. You're from a place that knows how to insulate. Yes, this is a problem with Australia. Um, they just didn't insulate any of the houses <laughs> when they were built. Gonna swap onto Terra Nelson soon. But yes, I'm very pleased with my soup. I like soups. I like soups. So uh, when soup soup time comes around, it is good time. Gopher says, I've been watching this dude's videos where he describes people eating weird things or even just sketchy things and subsequently getting severe death symptoms. Is that that emu guy? I think he sent me one of his videos. Let's buy about a little. Chubby emu, yes. Oops, this is not a group of flowers that's going to be helpful. You sent me the one about someone getting botulism from gas station nachos, I think. Are you want pumpkin soup with croutons? Yeah, pumpkin soup's a good one too. I just love a... I love a, a soup where you don't have to... Like, you literally just chuck everything in the pot and let it simmer. Like a, a bean and minestrone bean and what a minestrone with just like beans and veggies in there that's good or uh like a chicken noodle type of arrangement do i need to equip this to okay cool. um but i also like a good veggie blended soup that's the type i had today so it's just some potato leeks i had some onion left over too so i used that and um just all cooked up in some chicken stock and then blended and also with some bacon and, and cheese in there just to make it extra like yum and I had some uh, some nice sourdough bread with that good stuff go for you watch one where someone ate gas station sushi Hang on, let me vibe out with these flowers while I read this horrifying anecdote. You watch one where someone ate gas station sushi and had worms in their eye. You don't want sushi. I wouldn't want sushi after reading that either. All right, we got to 500. Hydro blaster. Now this, this is the kind of thing I'm willing to sell things for. You can jump with a well-placed water gun shot, huh? Hydro Blaster, 50. All right. Time to suck trash and sell flowers. Let's check out what's uh, some trash over there. Good. Yeah, I'm probably with uh, Hex of Hexagon there. Like, regardless of whether I um, 
had heard that horrifying story or not. I might not be uh, entirely on board with the old gas station sushi from the get-go, but we've just found out that's absolutely for the best. Okay, let's go. Let's vibe these out, see if we get any blues. It looks like I'll just be able to suck enough trash to get my upgrade. That's good. Still, you've had surprisingly good supermarket sushi. Yeah, I don't think I... Uh, I'd probably, again, be willing to eat from a supermarket. Not from a... Um, not from a not from a not from a petrol station. Which is what we call them in Australia, by the way. Actually <laughs> petrol station is their formal name in Australia. What we actually call them is the servo. Anyone from different parts of Australia? Is there a different word for petrol station where you're from? if you reckon if you live inland you wouldn't eat supermarket sushi either. I reckon anything cooked you're probably fine. Anything raw? Yeah, probably not. This is very cute. Ah, oh, what are you waiting for? My god. Alright, so we're at 60. 160. So how much did we get there? We sold like, what, 5? So they, I got 20 each. Nice. Skelly says nobody has been to the east coast of the US. I think one or two people might be from the east coast of the US. Alright, let's get this Hydro Blaster and see what it's about. Okay, aim and shoot graffiti, left click to boost. Whoa, what? Wait, do I have enough to get like the, the other upgrade? No, I need 150, okay. Oh, increase fire rate. That might be worth uh, just saving up a little more for. Let's uh, just completely remove our blue flower population real quick. some more of this. I've got to say, in Australia, if I'm getting like roll sushi, or indeed any type of sushi, I do tend to go for the, um, the cooked varieties. And you know, even when I was living in Japan, I preferred, um, I always preferred onigiri to sushi. I love onigiri. I would eat them every day. And in fact, I usually did for breakfast. Gopher says, why? Why do I prefer, um, 
uh, onigiri to sushi. Asparagus, you can get onigiri and snowy escape. Mm -hmm. Might have to buy it. Alright, uh, player upgrades. Fire rate, yes. 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 Alright. Okay, for I'm going to assume you mean, um, why? Let's see how this is. I don't know if that's helped. Um, if you meant why onigiri over sushi, but... But reason is... Triangle. Triangle and fully contained. I don't know. I don't know why I prefer them, but I do. <laughs> oh shit, that, that was big. Big back. Lots of Japanese food in, in Snowy Escape. I'm sure I've spoken about this on stream before, but even when I was living in Japan, I was never the most big fan of Japanese food. Like, if you know a lot about it, you might feel the same way. It can be quite samey. Okay, we didn't do much flowers. We didn't do much flowers. I'm gonna finish this soon. Go for we have a lot of that's the most confusing thing I've ever said. Well we have a lot of triangle food supporters in the chat. I feel like I've I might not be in the minority here. Aria says onigiri, samosas, Doritos, yeah, they're all all strong. Oh yeah, I wanted to, um, I'm going to groove out with these flowers first, but I wanted to test the graffiti destroying capabilities. And hey, we all know that sandwiches taste better if you cut them into triangles, right? Gopher says onigiri are inferior to sushi, samosas are good but not because of the shape, and, and Doritos are disgusting and painful to eat. I see. I'm sorry you've had this experience with triangle foods, Gopher. What about like slices of cake? They're triangles. Whoa, holy shit. Nice. Wait, I got paid for that? Gopher says cake just isn't that great. I enjoy cake. Just, gonna, just, just saying. All right, we'll go for what's the superior, um, see a stinky drawing, amazing. Um, what's the superior food shape as far as you're concerned then? Clean the park up a little more, and then um, we are gonna move on to Terra Nil for this evening. Gov says triangles are the superior shape, but they're low on the list for why a food is good. Oh, you've changed your mind already. Superior shape is a star? Please name star shaped foods, Gover. I don't think I know of any star-shaped foods. Star fruit, but you have to slice it a specific way. Anise. I don't know how I feel about this. Can I like water flowers with this? Yes, holy shit. Now we're watering, chat. Go for if you change your mind again. Oh shit. Oh nice. Cool. Alright. Alright, well we're gonna save here and move on to Terra Nil, but that was fun. 
I hope you enjoyed growing flowers with me. We're going to grow some more flowers. We're also going to clean up after ourselves in the next game. So give me a moment to switch things over. How do I save and quit? I guess here, right? Save game. Good. Alrighty. Give me just a second here. This is your entertainment while I switch games. Oh, we've got we've got audio now. Good. Everyone breathes a sigh of relief. Okay, this game also prefers 16, well it prefers the monitor resolution which happens to be 16 by 10 because I'm a woman of taste and culture. Go for what is a cock, is it supposed to be said cock? Cock snowflake? It takes the great properties of the triangle and makes many, I see. Skelly, what are you talking about? We get chat back here. Oh, here we are. You're... You're watching videos of people doing dangerous... Dangerous... Things in order to eat. Gopher says, I just looked at the typography alignment chart again and have come to the conclusion that Ferrari is lawful evil from producing race week. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. So we're up to here, I think. I don't remember. Let's find out. Oh, wait, no, I don't click here. I just go continue. Right, right, right. Okay, so now I have to clean up after myself. So for those who weren't here last time, um, we have a wasteland. We've made it green again with all these technologies. And now we have to destroy technology so that the planet remains pristine. Uh, and it looks like the sound is now way too soft. This game has a very relaxing soundtrack. Let me know if that's too loud for you. Um, but otherwise, I think we'll be good. Hexavexagon says, is a cock snowflake that fractal of triangles? And Gopher says, yes, yes. Okay. Oh Lord, where's Chatty? Streamer can't see the chat. Mass hysteria. There we go. That's better. Each side has a triangle in the middle third. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, what do we have to do here? How how do I? I've done this part, right? Oh, I'm not quite there for something. Something I'm not quite there on. It's either blue or green. Um, how do I make marsh again? Okay. Okay, no, so I need green, whatever green is. Forest. Okay. Okay. All right. 
Oh, there was a tick aria. I completely missed that. Skelly says, in November, this guy that we were talking about set the Guinness World Record for farthest distance walked on Legos barefoot. Gopher, you can walk on Legos barefoot. Have you considered setting a Guinness World Record for it? Go if you think that sound effect is from a Japanese game show. It sounds very similar, doesn't it? All right. Congratulations. With biodiversity restored, we can begin the process of cleaning up. Your primary objective is to construct a rocket of recycled materials. That's right. Your secondary objective is to restore the local weather system. Okay. So first we need a rocket silo to make rockets can only be built once. I'm a little worried that I don't know where to put this, but that's all right. We can we, we can we can work with that. Deconstruction pylon recycles all level 1 and 2 buildings around it. Build a conveyance port after this to earn currency from the recycled material. Okay. Conveyance port it has to be on water. Loads reconstructed uh, materials from a de deconstruction pile and onto a boat take to the rocket silo, all right? Also unloads recycled material at the rocket silo. So does that mean the rocket silo has to be next to water, I guess? Steam plant needs electricity and water, provides weather, very good. Creates steam to restore the weather system. Hangar requires weather and also whatever this thing is. What is it? The rocket silo. Creates a low altitude recycling drone that recycles buildings in range of a beacon. Must be placed on the rocket silo. Requires a restored weather system. Okay. Beacon requires weather and tree. Marks an area for recycling all buildings by the low altitude drone. Requires a restored weather system. And seed launcher creates a tree at the marked location. This advanced terraforming requires a restored weather system. Press R or mouse wheel to rotate. All right. Special Agent Dana Scully, FBI, wants to know if I have a license to make rockets. Yes. I got my rocket license from Rocket College. Bless you, you reckon it's just a stock effect? Yeah, maybe that makes sense. Gopher says, show it. My rocket license? Um, it's in my other pants. Okay, let's, you know, I have plenty of money. Let's, let's see if I can make a weather. Okay. I'm a little confused as to where this can be put. What does it say? Water, but you don't put it on water. Or is that that marsh? Maybe it has to go on marsh. Yeah, that looks that looks better. Okay. I have 21% weather. It's good. Whoa, where does this have to live? Oh, it just needs a ton of open area. Okay. On the basis, I'm not sure if it needs to be near water. How does this work? Maybe it just moves stuff? Uh, I'm going to put the rocket like here, I guess. Then let's recycle some buildings. Actually, no, I should make steam plant first, right? Because they need power. But money, money, money small. Goff wants to know if I have a rocket license in my pants. 
Yes. Forty nine of sixty. Okay. Let's I guess let's let's go with this one because um although can we like where's where's one? Can I like green this area while we're here? Go for it. Cool. Now let's reconstruct deconstruct rather all this shit. Okay. And then if I grow a pylon, grow a pylon? Yeah, just grow a pylon, grow a port. It's got to be in range. Okay, I've got you. I understand now. I might have screwed myself a little bit there, but I understand now, so that's all right. Okay. Okay. Oh, even all my water is oh my water is gone, but the the um the river will put it back, so that's okay. Okay. But not fully, confuse. Um so hang on, how do I So do I need this here? I am... Oh, is that it loading materials? I can't tell. This, this part is a little, a little unclear to me. Is it... I mean, it's not going up, right? Maybe I have to do some more deconstruction, but... Hmm. Con confuse. Confuse. Anyway, I'm going to restore the weather system. Oh my goodness. It's a little difficult to tell unless I'm missing something. How much weather you get out of a... Now I'm at 59% but I have like no money left. Hex of Hexagon, who I know has played a lot of this, says you need to connect one to the silo, then connect that to more until you can connect one to the deconstructed supplies. You need to connect one to the silo. Yep. Then connect that to more until you can connect one to the deconstructed supplies. So you're saying you actually need to create a chain. Gotcha. Gotcha. I might have to restart then. But I'm going to restore the weather first just to see what happens. Weather system, yay! Oh, and now, now I have rocket fullness happening? Confused, I guess the supplies finally arrived? <laughs> look, 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 deers! Oh, this is probably massive, especially for people watching this on a large screen, but I, I guarantee these are deers. Hang on, let me zoom out. <laughs> look, deers here, deers here. Rain, frog. Whoa, whoa, what, 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 what? What's happening? Is the, is, 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 is the planet healing? Rain is, is giving us resources for free? Rain restores soil. <gasps> and it fills rivers too. Nature is healing, uh-huh. Gopher and Special Agent Dana Scully say, oh dear. Yes. Yes. 
happy, happy, happy. Look at, look at this, this is mushrooms. Skelly says the entire University of Minnesota is banned from contributing to the Linux kernel. What? Why? This is happy. I am happy. Nature is healing. We healed. We healed this. We healed this. Okay. Hang on. Fuck, do I place this? Must be placed on the rocket silo. It requires a restored weather system. Well, I have enough money. But I don't appear to be able to place this, so I'm very confused. Maybe it needs to be like a... No, but it doesn't make sense that it should be a full one, right? Basically, some researchers intentionally submitted vulnerable code for a paper. And another suspect recent submission came up. Wow. Wow. That's pretty, pretty ordinary. Just having a totally normal one over at the University of Minnesota. All right. Oh, hang on, that's the one spot we can go. All right, there we go, found it. Drone. Very good. So, I guess let's do a beacon. Do a beacon here. Maybe I could go here. Maybe I should do here. Because we're supposed to recycle everything, right? Okay, let's let's watch him go. Let's watch he go. Oh yeah, he destroy. And he give us money back. Good. Now we have 32% rocket. All right, this is gonna take a while. I guess that tree has B, so it can't have anything else. But we can place a tree here, I think. No, I'm confused. Oh, I see, oh, I see. And then we can use R to, oh, look at this. This is interesting. So then we can put a beacon on here, hopefully, otherwise I just wasted money. Yep, cool. And then our drone will come. There's fish in the water, you see them? Over here. You probably can't see my mouse. Hang on, let me fix that. Oh, you can see my mouse. <laughs> I remembered how I set the stream up, don't worry about it. Oh shit, that was um that was OBS, not chatty. Whoops. Here. If I ever make strange noises like that, chat, don't worry about it. Go for asks us what this research was trying to prove. Look, it's raining again. Yes, cheese, we're on Terra Nil now. We've just discovered the healing properties of rain and we're very excited about it. Skelly says it was trying to prove that people can intentionally contribute vulnerable code to an open source project for exploitation. Did you know you probably can you probably can prove that without actually submitting vulnerable code to an open source project. Yeah, and as Gopher says that's already well known. Yeah. Go 
Jessica, if you think it's a Microsoft Insider job. Mm. Conspiracy. Okay, let's go with that. Come on, little dream buddy. Which animals have we looked at? We found the deers and we found the frogs. This frog. We found the fish. Of course, we know about the bees. We've got lots of deers on this map. It's very exciting. Is that a bear? Bear! Yes, yes, cheese. The frogs are like half as big as the bear. We've created a planet with massive frogs. This this game is good game. Frog, that's right. Yes, go for a Microsoft insider job to make people distrust Linux. Okay, so if I put beacon like oh I can't put beacon there. I need tree. Sure. Yes. the paper you're talking about has a Hackerman diagram. That's amazing. Okay. No tree, so we make our own tree. Does the rocket cell need electricity? It doesn't seem to. Well, we're about to find out. Oh yes, but um, Cheese, Hex of Exgon and I were talking just before. Game, very good. Third stage, not super well explained, but I mean, this is um, not a super expensive game and I worked it out, so I'm not angry. Okay, where can we put tree? I, I'm not, is that, what? Yep, it's just tree growing in the water there. I don't. Th oh, I see. It must be on the the very edge here. Skelly, I'm I'm gonna have a look at that in a sec. Oh, good. I'm glad that uh, that was adequately sized. The third stage's introduction is a bit less handholdy. Yeah, that's that's accurate. I never looked at the pixel geometry image. Shit. Could you repost it, please? Hex of Exxon, you had to restart because you didn't have enough wetland to restore the weather and couldn't afford to make more. Ah, oh, it sucks. Cheese, when you first played it, it had some bugs for recycling boat pathing. Yeah, we, we, we weren't quite sure what was going on with the recycling for a while there, but we managed to get enough to start working on drones, so that's fine. All right, let me have a look at this image from Skelly. Pixel geometry. TV CRT. PCCRT, XO1LCD, I don't know what that is, and LCD. Oh, okay. So which one would the Saturn have originally used or been designed to work with? So what's this other image? Skeleton parts identified, bones, very good. TV, CRT, because it was the home console. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hopefully this will just like sneak in really nicely down here.
three percent. All right. Okay. Now I might actually have an existing tree for like the central area here. All right, we should be good. We should be good. We I think we have enough money that this should be fine. Okay. 93. I want a tree like here. I think I can just about do that. Hopefully this will be like the perfect location. We've got this in here too that we'll have to deal with. Oh, it's just outside, but that's okay. We can get these two at the same time. Yes, bear, bear is on the move and then napping. He's a bear after my own heart. Okay, 95%. And I think this, oh, there's, there's one greenhouse, one, one lonely greenhouse up there, but we can get these two first. Go for your hungry? Oh no. Do you need to go get some food? I'll be streaming for about another half an hour, by the way, guys. She says there's this lovely symmetry where the relationship between the tree launcher's radius and the wind turbine's radius means you'll always have rocks where you need them. <gasps> That's very clever game design. I enjoy. Go for your no longer friends with food. What about some kind of food substitute for tech bros in Silicon Valley? Slime or whatever, whatever the, what do they call it? So oh, that's right, Soylent, literally Soylent. Go for you read something sad this morning or no? Okay, hopefully this will be the last one. Cheese, you did fan art for this game? Yeah, go ahead. Oh shit, I have to permit you if you want to. Oh, thank you, Gopher. 98? Oh no, what am I missing? What am I missing? Oh no. Is it, is it just li like literally this? I mean, I have tons of money, I can guess. Got it. Okay. I can I can launch. Oh no, go for your favorite fish is dangerously endangered. Oh you now give up on fish. Oh Sucks. If only we'd been born before, before we destroyed all of the Earth. Happy Earth Day! Let's leave this planet. <laughs> oh look, it becomes, it becomes a pond! Wasteland reclaimed.
We did it. We reclaimed the wasteland. Yeah, she's I'm getting a little emotional too. It's like, oh man. Why can't we do this in real life? Gov says the reason it's so dangerously endangered is because a while back the industry was like, wow, we found an easy way to catch massive amounts and let's advertise it to everyone so we sell lots. And what, because they're delicious? People were like, heck yeah. Oh. Oof, Hex of Hexagon. Jesus. I feel like everything in tech has a story about that. Okay. Cool. And then we get to green up this area. Very good. Mountain unlocked. Let's have a look. A great peak dominates this setting. A well-placed pump is key, but getting power to the foothills may prove challenging. Okay. Okay. Now I've only played this game once and I don't remember how any of the units work, so that's a good start. I think pow we need power before anything else, right? Okay. Well, let's let's start up here and let gravity. Oh, maybe I should place it here. No, we're, we're going to start here. Yeah, Asparagon, I read that recently too. It's like there's no no fish that's not destroying the environment in some way. Hello, Dragon. Thank you for the host. Okay. Yes, this is the absolute perfect place to, to put this. Look, waterfalls! Waterfalls, chat! And yes, it's not so much Sim City as um, reclaim the city or the destroyed land left behind afterwards for nature. Happy Earth Day. Cool. Jeez, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, so we're gonna do this here so we've got some more power and then we'll put another pump we live in a society says gopher yes indeed I wonder if I can put a I can put a pump here good stuff where we play games about saving the world to play, made to placate our need to destroy the world. It says a lot about society, am I right? Oh my goodness, yes. Now, I feel like it could be good to make another like, these are very expensive, but on the other hand, could be good. Maybe I should do like this. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, where is my riverbed? Huh? They need power. Oh, okay, that's all right. 
We'll just have to get some power down there. Undo. We can undo. Holy shit. Well, friendship ended with fish. Chicken is my new fr best friend. It's not going to work either. Well, we'll work something out. We'll work something out. I think the best option might be to do this, which requires us to put a water wheel in down here. We put a, one of these here. This there. All right. And let's let, let's put some toxin scrubbers before we completely run out of money, hey? Money, money is a challenge in this one. <laughs> Go if you're wondering if, if Dragon left after finding out it wasn't SimCity. Maybe. That's right, there's multiple orientations of this. Right, right, right. So what we're going to do is put another toxin scrubber first over here. Maybe even up here would be good. I mean, both would be best. They're only 50 each. Greenhouse. Okay, ninety eight. Forty eight, but we miss like a bunch of stuff in the middle here. Be good to get a, a bit more of the land in here purified before we place the next greenhouse. Knowing now that rain purifies means that it's, um, I feel better about leaving small gaps. Seven sixty nine, nice fifty nine. Yeah, eighty seven's good. I think there might have been like, if I really finagled it, there might have been a ninety somewhere in there. But I think I'm very happy with eighty seven. Let's see what uh, what Skelly's blessed us with over here. Twenty twenty one 
is as far away from 1981 as 1981 is from 1941. Yeah, this doesn't make me feel terribly old because I'm not personally a tank, but um, just the idea is pretty confronting. <laughs> Okay. Maybe I need to focus on down here, right? Because I can get a lot of land, a lot of flat land going on for me down here. It's time. How much longer have I got? Like 20 minutes? About 15. How much is a greenhouse? It's 25. Okay. <laughs> Let's just keep that in mind. Yeah, this this is this is a better strategy. This is a better strategy. One thirty-five. This is yes, yes. This is yes. Okay. One twelve. Oh, was that one fifty-seven? Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, that's, look at that beautiful alignment. We're doing it. Okay. Now I would like to connect these waterways, but I just don't think I have enough money to run another excavator. Let's um. Let's do this as a start. Greenhouse. 141. 143. 146. 147. And that's about as good as we're going to get there. So let's go for it. Okay. One oh seven ninety four ninety six. What about if we change oops to this one oh five? I saw one oh four. Hmm. Hmm. I think I have enough money that I'm happy to put a calcifier in here. Okay. One fifty-five. Yes, yeah, see I've got others there, but it's just it's hard it's hard to to accept defeat on the the you know, the areas we could be transforming, right? Alright, I'm going to do this. I do like how it shows you here what you'll have um, afterwards. It's very helpful. I'm going to look at Skelly's image here. What have we got? Rat. World of Rat. Very good. Is this German 985's new business venture?
Okay, here we go. 175. 178, even better. Let's do it. <laughs> I haven't opened that yet, but I'm looking forward to it based on uh, some reactions I can see. question is, is this going to be like galaxy brain move or terrible idea? Possibly terrible idea, poorly timed. That we'll find out. Okay, pump. see. <coughs> unfortunate. Unfortunate positioning. It's time. Alright. I saw a 94. 96. 91. 98. 100, 103, 104, 96, 104 is probably going to be our best bet. Alright. How many files do you think have been transferred over the internet at this point? I don't think I understand a number large enough to answer that question. Gopher? Gopher, what's a really big number? Oh, I might I might not be able to do this chat. One fifty. Goff says two is probably the biggest number that exists. All right, so probably two images in that case. Okay. One thirty four. I can place another toxin scrubber in that case. Hundred and one, sure. Oh, we might just do it, but we're gonna be in a bad financial position going into the next phase. Gopher says, are we 49 percent? Are you kidding me? Gopher says, we're not sure yet, but scientists have been searching for a number bigger than two for years and haven't found one. Three was invented by the one percent to make you believe there's something bigger. Amazing. And they thought they could just get away with it. 
unbelievable. Where's my like, biggest bang for my buck in terms of putting down another? Ugh, maybe here? Excellent, okay. All right. So next we've got to make wetland, grassland, and other. Let's see. I think it would be good to make this area forest because then it's it's kind of cut off from the rest. Although the I wonder if the mountains will all, would also serve to cut things off from the rest. What's this? An upheaver. And this? That's a biodome. uses increased sunlight to create a paradise for arid plants around it. Must be placed on a greenhouse. Okay. Upheaver. Seismic vibrations raise the ground in an area will only affect the ground. Ground the same height as it as the amplifier and the desiccator. Okay. I need one third forest. Yes. Research center, yes. The research center can just sit here. Okay. Okay, so I have to I have to burn the shit out of somewhere to create a forest. Let's go here. look around you. I'll have a look at that after the stream. I haven't heard of it before. Okay. Now how do I make fire again? Oh, I need a solar amplifier first, okay. And then a uh, desiccator. Okay, and now we watch the world burn. How, how do these how does this pixel fire look coming through the coming through the stream oh no the bees poor bees oh shit is it gonna burn the research center I don't know because we'll find out Looks pretty fire, nice. No, research center is safe, at least for the time being. Looks fine, nice. Well, 
Well, let's build let's build some forest. Beautiful. And another. We might always be there on, on forest. I'm still just burning down to the edge here. Yep, I think we're good for, good or very close to it for tree. Now, ah, uh, that's right, it's not going to have power, so we'll, this here. This here. This is the excavator, right? Yes, okay. I just have to put like a a pump, right? Yes, good. Griffith says hungry. Are you are you still afraid of food? Because I am about to end the stream, so if you are if you are no longer afraid of food, you may indeed be able to sate your hunger. be here and it will affect the nearby area yes it will all right well I guess this is where we're stopping for today I have been streaming for two hours and I'm also hungry as it happens but uh, I am planning to return to this I might do this next Tuesday um I believe next th uh, next Friday is the day Pokemon Snap 2 comes out. Uh, and <laughs> I will be playing that on the day it comes out. So look forward to that. Um, I guess I should probably fix up my... Um, fix up my... Or at least check that my Switch streaming setup is, is working before that comes out. In the meantime, thank you for joining me for Earth Day Stream with Hey Park Boy and Terra Nil. This is very good game. This one is available on itch. I believe you can get it for free if you're uh, unable to pay. But um, I paid. It's a good game. It's worth it. It is worth it. So, um, yeah, get into it if you're into it. Otherwise, stay safe. Stay healthy. Recycle your shit. And don't wrap your recycling in plastic bags like I saw down in the down in the recycling room today, which means the entire box will be just burned or whatever we do. Landfill, I guess, where I live. Hooray. It's all right. Have a good, everyone, and, and try and... Linus, look at Link, okay? <laughs> Very good, Link. Chat, have a good. I will be around on Sunday with Gopher. Gopher, we have to remember that we need to play through before we start streaming because um, we got soft locked. We got soft locked. We got soft locked last time. So, um, yeah. Take it easy, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.